Good morning, world. You doing all right over there? Oh, or Phil? Good. Yeah. Good morning. I'm. I'm trying to get on. Is your Wi-Fi down? No, working fine. I'm on right now. I got all our notes up. I'm just. It, this is weird. Ever since the most important man in the United States told me that I couldn't get on the internet, I'm having trouble. Are you sure your Wi-Fi is up? It's. Yeah. You can't get on the internet. That was my wife. She's a Latina. Apparently, sorry. apparently, the president's right. I'm sorry about that. I give up. <laughs> <sighs> I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian, and this is Cedric and Brian. <laughs> Cedric, so did you did you figure that out yet? Did you are you, are you just gonna give up on the internet? <laughs> no, I know how to use it. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. <laughs> because according to this, and I'm sorry to go on, but this is really important to me. The uh, the other part portion is a lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community, in the Hispanic and the African American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts know how to use, know how to get online to determine how to get in line for that it's, COVID vaccination. I, at the, I have a question. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you okay. or my wife okay. who couldn't get on the internet either today. Right, right. Why the person that said this. Have you ever heard this president say one negative thing about white supremacists? I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. It has no place in America. No matter the color of our skin, we are all made by the same Almighty God, we must love each other, show affection for each other, and unite together in condemnation of hatred, bigotry, and violence. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. Those who spread violence in the name of bigotry strike at the very core of America. Was considered a racist, but the guy who said this. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. No question, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black isn't a racist. That's my question. That's well, my question for today. Before we used to talk about the old skin game, in this case, it's not the skin game. I think it's the letter game. Ah, uh, the D versus R? D versus R. You have an yeah. R in front of your name, everything you say is wrong. You have a D in your name, and you're kind of old when you're the, you know, the granddad in chief. You're cute, <laughs> and you get away with certain things. All right. I'm getting it now. <laughs> I'm getting it now. So I think... I know what we can do for our channel. What's that? I think we should both register as Democrats. We can get away with anything. I quit. <laughs> I quit. You can't wear that. And you guys will need to stop <laughs> watching us if we do that. <laughs> We're talking about this because, and I'm sure this was going around social media, Joe Biden doing another one of his, like Cedric said, his cute little gaffes just because, you know, he's, he's old. Uh, has <sighs> nothing to do with his... I, I pooped my pants. <laughs> it's racism. You know, they find thing after thing about Biden saying these... Basically, talk about uh, what the soft bigotry of low expectations. Right. That's basically what Biden seemed to have for people of color. And his press secretary is great for the job. I mean, I don't want to clown her, but everything he says, she's like, we'll just, we'll just circle back to it yeah, eventually. circle back. We'll just circle back to it. Or with Kamala Harris, just do the the old <laughs> non-answer answer, yeah. 
<laughs> Let's go to commercial. <laughs> Come on, are we opening the schools? <laughs> of course they're going to open someday. <laughs> oh, my man, goodness. Oh, man. So this is what... I know you didn't vote in, but this is what the 80 million people voted in. Uh, it's just... It's so insulting. I don't know how... You know who has a hard job? People like Don Lemon. Yes. Or all the other... Why can't you just say Don Lemon? I don't know. <laughs> Don Lemon. So Don Lemon and some of the other uh, black anchors on the network news or CNN or MSNBC, they have to keep making excuses for this guy. Their job has gotten so much harder. When it was Trump, it was easy. It was oh, orange man okay. bad. He's a racist. I have no proof, but he's a racist. Well, this sucks for CNN because last time I checked, CNN, their ratings have gone down 44% since Trump left office. I don't wonder why. Well, in any good story, you need a villain. And if you don't have one, you make one up. And now that he's gone, they're like, oh. And you can't make Biden the villain you can't make because Biden the, you're on Team Biden. Because he's, so what do we do? He's Obama 2.0. Like, that's like, here comes a question. I think he's Obama light. Obama, <laughs> Obama light. Obama's pretty light himself. But, but. Too, I don't mean his skin color. Quit playing the skin game, man. I, I just I mean he's, he doesn't quite have the intellectual capacity that Obama has. We're going to put this question on the tee for you and take a swing at it. Like, yay. So we're just having fun with this. And uh, let's do our segment we forgot to do last time, our, our TikTok segment we like to do. Oh, yes. So, so this is going to just... You know, it ties into this. So this is just one of the people that we follow on TikTok. We 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 try to find TikTok's good at their algorithms are good. They kind of feed us, you know, things that are kind of yeah. agree with what we agree with. Every once in a while, other ones will slip in, which is good. You want to see what the other side is. But so ch check this one out. People are always like, "Get over slavery." Okay, get over nine eleven. Let's just get some factoids out the way. Slavery went on for about 246 years, not 400. If you want to get technical, slavery only lasted in the United States for about 89 years. Slavery ended 156 years ago. This coming September, it'll be 20 years since 9-11. You seem young, so I'm guessing you were either too young to remember 9-11 or you weren't born yet. I was 14 when I watched people jump to their deaths and the towers collapse. 9-11 didn't just happen to the people who died, it happened to all of us. And using 9-11 in a joke is just not... And it's not so much get over slavery, it's stop using an event you never experienced as a crutch. And if you feel like you're suffering from generational trauma, then go see a therapist before you damage the next generation. It's not oppression when you shackle your own feet, and no one's holding you back when the key is in your hands. I can't get to the door if I'm holding onto the wall, and I can't take the wall with me. When people say get over slavery, this is what they mean. So again, we're just bringing this up. So those of you, I know a lot of you just refuse to go on TikTok. I understand. Mm -hmm. The reason we are on TikTok is because TikTok is really how we were able to grow. We kind of just, in a lark, we put a TikTok out there that happened to be a little political. Yeah. And all of a sudden it blew up. And we're like, eh, I guess that's, I uh, guess we should. He, he wanted to talk politics from the beginning of our show. I kind of fought him. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of pushed me in the direction. But we like to to uh, show, show up or show showcase people yes that uh if you are on tiktok give them a give them a shout out if you look down in the little corner there you'll see their actual channel but i thought that was good and it, i want to say there's important people like biden you know the president they have writers who write their stuff for them i wonder they're just they're probably pulling their hair out because he just goes off course and says whatever he wants to say and they're like oh. i know we could do a whole show on just that little town hall he had well you know it's coming up his first, uh, what do they call it? The, um, not press conference. Oh, State of the Union? Yeah, the first State of the Union. So that ought to be, if he sticks to the script, it may be okay for the Democrats. But if he starts talking about people of color again. Right. And here's a question I have for some of you who are on the other side. Even though you are conservative, answer this question for me. It seems like no matter what, Biden's been in office how long now? Since January Since 20th, January? so it's a month almost. Well, it's going to be a month. That's where he's okay. stating. All right, in, and, so. uh, and despite the, uh, the the one billion executive orders, please tell me at least two or three things that this man has done that you applaud, that, that you're like, oh my goodness, he's doing great. I just want like two or three things. We because know, our, our audience won't have anything to say. But I'm, I'm being serious because I, I, we said earlier that we want to give this man his props when his props are due. Because we don't want to just beat up the president of the United States like was done to Trump over and over again. So if he's done something that, like, yeah, you know what, that, this, like, that's a great idea. I like German Shepherds, and he has a couple of, of good-looking German Shepherds. And he knows how to put logs in the fireplace. That, yep. 
He yeah. can do that he himself. He doesn't even have to have somebody do that for him. But what has he done for the American people? Oh. I haven't heard anybody from the left that. I, I kept hearing that they're going to vote for Biden because they don't like Trump, but I never heard any real reasons policy-wise why they're voting for Biden. Well, they love the policies. They're bringing back the critical race theory stuff that Trump tried to get rid of, which we talk about as toxic. Toxic. I can't even stress how toxic that's. That's is. what I was asking you yesterday. Yeah, I, I, it hit me. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, he was he was thinking of diversity <laughs> training, and now it's the critical race. Critical theory race theory. Okay. Stuff. It's it's so dangerous and so and it is straight out of the Marxist playbook, which the people from BLM are basically get their their playbook from. Right. So it all fits. And Ibram X. Kendi, whose stuff is so ridiculously divisive. Anyway, so what has he done for the country? I don't think he's done. Luckily, he doesn't do much other than those executive orders, which over time are going to probably be shown to be horrible. Yeah. Um, he's regulating things that were deregulated, which is going to make things worse. You know, there's always finger pony and, and, you know, we're realists. Everything that Republicans do is not good. Right. You know, everything that Democrats do is not bad, but they needed to get Trump out of the office so bad out of presidency because he was doing such a bad job. And here's the one thing that I'll bring up. They asked him about foreign policy and he was saying that he needs to get rid of the foreign policy that Trump had. If anything Trump did, if you're going to say let's get on, a, on accomplishments, his foreign policy was probably the best right. in his whole wheelhouse. Oh, yes. I mean, again, he signed two peace deals in the Middle East. He started no wars, no. which, like we said, I don't think there's been a president since we've been alive, which is over 50 years, that did not start a war. Uh, so for Biden to come out and say he's going to undo all of those terrible things that Trump did is just you're just playing politics and you don't care about the, the American people. Right. Right. And it's all those nebulous terms that you hold. Oh, he's done a terrible job. Like what's so terrible about signing those peace treaties and what, what's so terrible about it? Yeah, no. but no one, Nothing. no one specifies that. It's because Democrats, like Kerry, said, "Oh, that can't be done." And when can't it was done. done, you you have to double down on it. You can't say, "You know what? He did a good job." You have to say, "No, he's still a terrible man." Orange man bad. Yeah. yeah. So that's part of the reason why CNN's ratings went down again. Now that the impeachment's over, too, they have nothing to talk about, <laughs> and they have to cover for this because they don't ask any tough questions. In fact, somebody did finally ask the press secretary some tough questions. And like Cedric said, all she says, I'll have to circle back because she can't answer. Them. Right. right. Um, we want to get in California. We're trying to get the schools back in place. And the teachers unions, as we said before, basically own the federal government at this point because they own the Democrats. So things aren't going to get done. The good news is things aren't going to get done. The bad news is things aren't going to get done. You know what I mean by that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, another thing in the news before we go to our comment finally happened they finally took old aunt jemima off the oh, bottle oh my gosh what's it called now it's called a uh... something milling company yeah 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 and uh you know right there there's the new bottle so there there you go no more so we're erasing history now in the guise of helping bring up black people, we're erasing black people. Well, I said this in our earlier show. We talked about this months ago. If I was a an ancestor of Aunt Jemima who started this, I think she actually worked for the company in Chicago, and she would go yeah. from trade show to trade show making pancakes and putting her syrup on it. If I walked down the aisle and I was part of her lineage, that would make me so proud to see that, and now they've just erased that and taken it off. I know. So you... So thank you very much for ending racism. Gina Carano showed that giving in to the, the mob, the woke mob, isn't the way to go. She finally stood up, right. whereas the guy from uh, The Bachelor, if you heard that story, yeah, he apologized yeah. and apologized. doesn't matter. They right. still remove him. You do not give in to the mob. No. This company gave in to the mob. Now, you know, Cedric grew up, we, we grew up with Aunt Jemima. You, you kind of smiled when you saw the bottle because that Aunt was pretty it. much... That and Mrs. Butterworth were like the two mm -hmm. best syrups out there. I guess there was Log Cabin. I guess that right. was racially and But we were an Aunt Jemima family yeah. growing up. And, and I could see maybe being a, a black family, too. It's like, it's a, a little you know, ownership. It, especially, you know, in the 60s when we were born, it's like, great. There's a positive role model, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. You can bring it out. And now they've erased that. Why? And I still don't understand. If it was like a, a white KKK guy or a, even a, even just a white guy and say, we need to get rid of that. 
but why get rid of Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben's? I still will never understand that. I'm sure you leftists out there have a good reason for it. I don't understand it, but you know, let's give a, a clap to that. Congratulations. You've taken another black face out of, soul, of culture of the culture. And instead we have a uh, Cardi B. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> It gives me, it makes my that's, hair stand that's up on what end. we want. We don't want our kids pouring syrup when they're, you know, five and seeing that smiling face. We want somebody talking about their wet ass wop. Yes, yeah. wet, wet ass privates. When I when I grew up, wop stood for uh, yes, that was Italian. An Italian. <laughs> <laughs> she's stolen that. She culturally appropriated that. Term. But she can do that because she's she's the right skin complexion. I know, so she can do that. Anyways, let's get to our. Our, uh, yes. Comments. Yes. We yeah. got comments. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sing every that. time for that. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm reading the comment because otherwise Cedric has to take a screenshot and blow it up because he's he's blind. Wow. He needs to go monovision like I am. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to bring it right here up on the screen. <laughs> and this gentleman's name is Brian Ferris. But he, he does spell his name wrong. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Your middle name spells spelled it wrong. correctly. You spell it. Yours is Ryan with a B. That's what I. That's what I like to say. Anyways, I'm just kidding. Kidding with you. So Brian Ferris, he wrote great review. This has to do with the Tom McDonald cancel video. If you haven't watched that, go back. Uh, Brian Ferris said great review. Exclamation exclamation. Funny. I stumbled across your channel. Love the name. My first name is Cedric. Middle name Brian. Notice though how he goes by Brian on his hand. Right. right. <laughs> said love the honesty and truth in your discussion well thank you brian ferris or cedric brian cedric brian, cedric brian ferris mm -hmm. you'll have to let us know in a new comment why you don't put cedric in your uh bio up there you just use the well brian. i'm gonna we i know would... why because brian should be <laughs> no <Cedric. laughs> I, well growing up whenever i would see my name in like in first grade like oh and what's your name like cedric like oh patrick like no cedric <laughs> cedric like that's like, a, that's like Amantha on that show we've been watching. Amanda. Rectify. Yes. Because it sounds like Amanda, Amanda or Samantha. Samantha. Yeah. Amanda. Anyway, if you haven't watched Rectify, you got till March 3rd to watch it. A great series. Cedric got me into Outlander. I got him into this one. Yes. So. Very, very uh, do good. Do it quick. Very yes. good. And then if you need to find Amantha on the internet, <laughs> I'll leave that. Yeah, I'll leave that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, episode today. Uh, we, we, again, we appreciate all the comments. We appreciate all the viewerships. And we just appreciate you. So make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. And as you guys are doing, make sure you share our videos with everyone you know. Until next time, I'm Cedric. I'm Brian. See you later.